Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you today for Halloween. Ooh. And I've got my two black cat assistants who are not helpful. They're sitting in the window that I have open. But we're gonna take pretty much all, DIY, or all Dollar Tree items and we're gonna make something super fun. So the materials I have, I found some of this, um, they're calling it Cricut Vinyl. 10 out of 10, do not recommend it for cricketing, but we're gonna try and see if I can use it for this craft. So I got, which is like the black kind of glittery, uh, but you can use any color you want. I grabbed one of these wooden skeletons that's on the loops. I grabbed a coffin sign, and then I'll need other things, maybe hot glue, a ruler, pens, pencils, scissors, wire cutters, you know, that type of stuff. And then anything we want to decorate it that I can come up with now or in the future. So let's get started. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna start making this super fun Halloween sign for your house. Okay, the first thing I did is I took some metal nips. You can use anything. I'm, just to get the metal rings that are connecting my skeleton together. So that was my first step. I wanted to get him apart or her, we don't know, gender neutral here. Then I just took some of this lightweight spackle and I filled in all the holes. Totally preference, you do not have to do that. I just chose to fill in the holes in his little body parts. Ooh, which way here? So now I'm just sitting on a canvas. By the way, you can use a canvas. <laughs> Look at this artwork. Literally just gluing a bunch of body parts to a canvas. But anywho, um, filled the holes. I need those to dry. And then once those are dry, I can paint them. We're going to try the paper pad that I got. So right now I'm just going to move this to the side because the pieces need to dry, we need to um, sand them. And let me get rid of the trash. And I also, I just cut everything off of the skeleton. Now, next step, we're gonna take this sign here. And I actually opted to take one that was kind of a mess because I knew I was gonna cover it and so it's, literally no no reason not to take a messy one now it's not flat just so you know but what i'm gonna do i need a pencil and i don't know if i'll be able to get my camera high enough but you'll get the gist i'm gonna take this paper back side up now, there is a reason when I, when I said I would not recommend this for my Cricut. I tried using it to test it out. The back is so thin, it sticks to my Cricut mat, and it didn't want to peel away very well. Now, your mileage may vary, but I thought for projects like this, this would be great. You're just using it to cover a whole surface of something. Now, you know, you gotta unroll it, lay it down like that. And then I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna give myself some extra room here. Hold it down, hold it down good, right? Okay, so everybody's been cut out. There's a couple ways you could go with this. You could spray paint this black. It would make life easier. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is basically covering it. And then what I will do is go around it with some um, black paint if I miss some of the sides, or I will use some sandpaper to fix the edges but 
right now I'm just you want to be super careful this is not like Cricut brand I can tell you that it's very thin and um, it really doesn't I mean it, it rips super easy so you just want to be careful and what I'm doing up here is really just getting it started to stick. So my back is still attached, right? And what I have is I have my Cricut scraper that will help me get out any air bubbles if I need help. If you see some that are pretty bad, you can always lift them. And this may not be perfect, and that's okay, because it is, you know, first of all, it's a Halloween craft. It's Dollar Tree product, and we're not leaving it out forever. But now I can tell you I made it a little too long. I'll fix that end. But this is on here, and it's stuck pretty well. So if you're going to buy this Dollar Tree Cricut paper or transfer vinyl, they're calling it or something, I would say it's fine to do, but I think it works great for projects like this, where you're trying to cover a surface. I'm just not gonna try using this on my cutting machine. I can, that's just not gonna happen. But, oh, guys, look at that. And on the bottom, I'm gonna go around it. I'm just getting my sanding block and some sandpaper that I get at the Dollar Tree. I buy this pack and it's all different grit. I need a very soft grit for the, for that. I also get my sanding block at the Dollar Tree. So you can either try to get that to stick or if you just go over the edge like that, when you're doing crafts like this, even with paper crafting that you're gluing down, it cuts it for you. Perfect. So I'll go around the whole thing. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Nothing, nothing crazy. But it makes your edge, and you want to go down, not back and forth. But it makes your edge nice and clean and that's what you want a tight edge so i'm going to continue doing that and then i need to wait for him to dry and then we'll paint okay we're back and i have actually found this sandpaper was a little rough so i will get i don't want lines in here i take old nail files that have gone beyond their prime for my fingernails and i always keep them in my craft cart and this is perfect for just sanding off the little bit of lightweight spackle wood glue whatever you're using you can use regular glue it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be perfect we just need to and i'm gonna let them dry over here now this is the painter's sheets to try to um like a palette i'm gonna put a fair amount of paint out here and all i'm going to do is paint everybody a coat of white paint. It doesn't even have to be perfect. I'm just going with white because I think that would be fun. You can spray paint this. That would work perfectly fine. Now, I thought about not painting the sides. You could leave this natural too, which would be fun, depending on your decor, but I'm going with a black and white aesthetic with this project. Plus, wouldn't it be boring if I just left it? I think so. On the back, some of the joint compound came through. Doesn't matter. This is going to be glued down. So that's all I'm going to do and then lay it on that canvas to dry. But I'm just going to paint away all the pieces. And if you see like you have a divot in there, it's okay. Just fill it full of paint. And when it dries, oh, that might be the back. That was the back. When it dries, it dries. I'll have paint all over my hands because these are little pieces. And then, like I said, if you want to spray paint these, you could do a red and black. Oh, you could do them purple. 
There are so many things you can do with these wooden skeletons. I'm kind of obsessed with them, not going to lie. Like, I want to go buy a hundred more. Why? I have no need in my life for that many skeletons, but... Um, and I will say, whatever surface you're putting them on to dry, don't put them on paper towel to dry. They will stick. I'm putting them on a plastic canvas over here, or an um, artist canvas that has a plastic uh, cover on it still. And this wood absorbs pretty well. All right, I'm just going to paint. I'll be back. tree. I have gemstone stickers and I'm going to need some tweezers. Tweezers also from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if this works. While everything is drying this will dry faster and we want to make this a complete and utter Dollar Tree project. Now, let's see what's going on here. Are these individual? Oh, I don't know. They are not individual. So let's see. Can you even see what I'm doing here? I'll start up here. So these are just stickers, right? And they're already spaced. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. I'm just gonna take these stickers and go around the edge here. The only thing is you wanna make sure you have them good and spaced when you add your second row. Hold it and then, haha, <laughs> what do you think of that? I like that a lot and I've got time so I'm just going to and these are gemstones. Dollar Tree sells lots of different ones. If you don't have gemstones but you do have some glitter glue or pearl dots or anything of that nature I just feel like anything will work just to give it a little pizzazz right? while waiting for my wood pieces to dry. Now this, of course, I'm gonna put this, I think, out front at my house. So this will help it shine. If you don't like the extra glam, you can forego it. You could go with, they have gold in this, I know for sure. They have these little crystals in all different colors that I know for sure. So now when you get down here, you can use scissors, but I feel like you can also just pull it apart. And then you wanna go the other direction. This is right up my alley, guys. Straight lines, I'm all about it. Okay, I'm gonna finish this, and then by then our little guy should be dry, and we can glue him down. Oh, friends, this is going to be so fun. All right, I put his head down just to make sure everything is lined up. A couple fun facts. Make sure you're dry on the back when you're trying to dry fit pieces. I'm just going to do like glue pieces here and here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, we know that. Right? But you do, like for me, I just want to make sure he is centered pretty good so that his other body pieces fit. And all we're doing is gluing our skeleton together, right? He needs his arms and legs. So I will tell you that his arms and legs are the same size, so I didn't have to be too careful there. And all I'm doing off camera, if you can't see, is just gluing. 
and be careful these are a little thin I'm not using extra hot glue here also I'm not too concerned if his two arms are hanging in the same the same angle now again <laughs> a little lesson I learned make sure you're painting your feet so they go the right direction I had to go repaint a couple pieces because I wanted their feet in a certain direction and that needed to happen. Um, and I want his legs. Ooh. And then, oh yeah, anytime you get any glue on there, just let it dry and then you can pick it off real easy. If you get any stringy glue. You can also just use regular glue if you don't have a glue gun. You just wanna let it dry a little longer, right? like lay them out how you want them and then just kind of leave it. So this piece right here had some stringies. All right, hands across the water. How are we gonna do his hands? I guess we're gonna go here. Oops, and here. Those were the hands I had to re-glue or repaint, sorry. I just don't want them on the on our border over here guys this is fun and I love it I'm kind of obsessed not gonna lie there we go and I did get a little white paint right here so I will try to get it off if it won't come off then I'll take some black and just touch over it okay feet. We need his feet. And then we'll put his feet here. Then we have to decide if we want to name this person. Or do something at the bottom. Oops. We'll just turn his little foot there. I don't want it on the crystals. And if the crystals aren't sticking good for you, Go ahead and just glue those down too. But look at him, guys. I'm obsessed. I have room down here to put a name or something if I want. Should we call him Bob? <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it. I need to let this dry. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. And then I will show you once I've decided what I want to do at the bottom if I want to do anything. Sorry if I'm shaking, I'm just wiping off paint here so that's just clean. So I think I found a good use for this Dollar Tree vinyl, not on your, <laughs> not on your Cricut or your cutter, but using it to have flat pieces. So I'm just going to let all of this dry, go back and get any stringy, hot glue off of it and then I will show you the finished product. Guys, I love him. We shall call him Ray, as in X-Ray. <laughs> I do love a good pun. I may name him, I may put his name on here, I may not. I'm kind of liking the basic simplicity of it with the sparkle. So I'm gonna bring you in close and hope you can see the kind of glittery background or not. But I love him. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed too and you have a fantastic day. Bye!